Boom, guys, welcome. My name is Fabian Cordova, and today we're going to be talking about tra uh, traffic training. Today, especially, we're going to be talking about understanding your target audience because this is really important to understand the psychology behind every single thing that you will be doing. If it's a physical product brand, if you're selling a service, if you're uh, selling education, if you're selling anything. You really need to break down and understand your, uh, let's say, avatar psychology or prospect psychology before even running your first Facebook ad. The reason why it's because, you know, we don't want to make you guys like a lot of people in a lot of co courses out there that are just telling you guys, yeah, launch ads, launch ads, launch ads. Yeah, we want to teach you how to launch ads, but the smart way. Because the last thing that we want to do is to create people that do Facebook ads and not real markers, if you understand what we're talking about. So the most important thing about this video is for you guys to start breaking down and understanding who you're actually dealing with. And by actually dealing with, it's the people that you're selling your product or service, okay? So I broke down understanding your, uh, your audience through understanding your customer avatar, your customer psychology, your customer's behaviors, and your customer's demographics. Uh, by customer avatar, it's basically understanding what type of client they are. If they're male, if they're female, if they are 18 years old, if they're 20 years old, if they're 30 years old, if they're 40 years old, or more. Also can be if they're from a specific country, if they speak a specific language, if they're uh, interested in X, Y, and Z. Okay, so you have to understand your customer avatar. So let me just <clears throat> add some information here. Uh, it's gonna be gender. Step over this side so you guys can see. It could be gender. It can be um, uh, age. Uh, this can be any specific uh, interest, etc. By customer psychology, it's what are they actually thinking normally throughout their lives so you can connect with them in a really strong way. And the reason why I really want to focus on customer psychology is because no one ever does. No one ever does focus on their customer psychology because they're just focusing in pushing the sale, selling, 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 pushing, pushing, pushing. And it's good. There's some people that have achieved a lot of success uh, like this, but it's just not my style of marketing because you're bas basically comparing yourself with everybody else. So how I like to do my marketing and this, how I will recommend you guys to create your marketing is through creating stories or storytelling. Stories are always something that you're willing to listen. Even when you were a child, listen stories from your mother, your father, your uncle, your grandmother, everybody will just sit down and listen because you're connecting different points and creating a journey for that specific prospect or client that they will be uh, expecting something or they will be uh, waiting for something. And that's what you actually want to create whenever you're creating um, an ad. So you can create uh, intrigueness, you can create uh, different feelings and emotions during uh, your advertising. So uh, customer psychology, and we can use a specific example. Let's say that uh, we're talking about, let's say parenting. Again, I'm not a father, I don't know much about, uh, about being a, a parent, but I definitely know that in order to understand uh, the psychology of a parent, you have to ask questions. For example, I have uh, my mom, my sister, uh, different cousins, they have kids, so I'll start asking questions or things that they might find, number one, things that they like, number two, things that they don't like, and number three, things that they struggle with. Because with those three things, you'll be allocating content specifically for things that they like, things that they don't like, so you can address things that they don't like in a positive way, and you're helping them solve their problems. So for example, by parenting, you can use an example from someone you know. For example, this can be your sister, or this can be your brother, etc. So you can start asking questions. Also something that you can do is start looking for magazines about that specific niche. You can also look for 
Facebook groups about parenting. You can go there and you can even start asking questions. You can even uh, simulate surveys throughout questions to get more, more data and more information from people that not a lot of people else do. And the reason why I'm talking about this and I, I and haven't just told you guys, yeah, go and put parenting interests on Facebook. It's because everybody does that. And I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just teaching you to do freaking research before launching your first ad because it doesn't matter if you are new, if you are old, or if you're just getting started. The most important part in how you're gonna be literally grow within this business, it's being constant, innovator, and reliable. So the most important way to do that, it's understanding the psychology behind the people that you're actually dealing with, okay? Facebook groups, you can also uh, look for communities. Uh, you can also look for blogs. Um, uh, let's say TV channels. Uh, you can use uh, radio. You can look for other websites. At the end of the day, it's all about what they think, what they're having in their head, and what they're actually wanting to do. Because if you understand that, you can foresee if someone is going to have X behavior, if they're going to have X reaction, or if they're going to need anything. So by understanding that psychology behind someone that can be a parent or they will be a parent, you will understand what's the best way to approach them without, oh, uh, buy this cradle for your kid because it's 50% off. Like everybody else is doing that stuff. So if you come up with creative, like, creative ideas and understanding different patterns, information, uh, also can be uh, information that it's just like really, really, really new. And sometimes just because you're probably too lazy, it's the reason why you just haven't been able to succeed, not because of what you have been doing, it's because of what you haven't been doing, right? So this is why we're breaking up all this information down for you guys to really understand, okay? Number four, customer behaviors. Okay, if, for example, if they are, uh, for example, if they are spending over, let's say, $300 on Facebook, you know that they're already spending money. Another behavior, it can be that uh, they like um, online shopping. And you can also look for, uh, let's say, uh, for example, parents that uh, like to do sports or parents that want to be healthy. So that's the way that you also start uh, going to start learning how they're actually behaving, how are they living their day to day. For example, there are cer uh, certain parents that they like to, you know, uh, wake up early in the morning to do work, and then take care of their son or take him to uh, school or whatever. But there are certain different, you know, different types of people for different types of avatars or different types of audiences. So that's why you really have to make some research to really make sure that you're addressing those situations. And last one, customer demographics. Okay, for example, keeping the, the exact same example. Um, demographic, they can be married, they can be single, they can be divorced, they can be, uh, for example, uh, a soccer mom, uh, they are, uh, for example, um, owners of a household, Um, and etc etc and I just wanted to break this down guys and really if you're finding all this information valuable and you haven't done this for your business 
please, I recommend you guys to go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com. It's just a simple page that we're recommending people to go. Uh, just go there, watch the video, and if you find all the information valuable, we recommend you to just schedule a call. We just want to talk to you guys and find out uh, the common solutions so we can help you uh, guys achieve uh, your common goals. So again, just making a, a quick recap, if you haven't understood or you haven't taken uh, the time to do research on the different um, audiences that you're going to be targeting, start there. Like, please don't launch your first Facebook ad without doing this. You're going to thank me later. You're going to be saving so much time, so much effort, so many blood, sweat, and tears, and a lot of money, which is something that you want, you really want, guys want to, you know, take advantage from. Uh, when I started, I did a lot of mistakes, and the reason why I'm breaking all this information down to you guys is for you specifically, guys who are watching live or who are watching the recording, to leverage and avoid all the mistakes that, that we have made, only because we didn't knew that this you know existed now that we do the most important part is to this being applied to every single vertical of your business every single ad for example if you um if you have multiple angles multiple verticals within your business please go and do some research on each and every, and every one of them so you can literally break down understand who you're dealing with before you're just trying to force them a sale. So guys, this is just like a really simple training that I wanted to give you guys today. Again, if you're finding all this information valuable, just go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com, schedule a call, and we definitely wanna to talk to you guys. Uh, so that's basically the short training that I have for you guys today. Extremely important. It's, it doesn't matter if it's short. It's really important that you guys take these uh, this little things into consideration because those little details are the ones that are going to differentiate you from the rest of the pack. So thank you so much, guys. My name is Fabian Cordova. See you on our next training.